You can see your head. <laughs> Not ready. Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe perhaps good evening. Welcome to the Best Day Ever Show. This is episode three. Today's guest is the immensely talented, super sexy, pineapple polo, Cameron Malibu. <laughs> Group claps. Welcome Cameron, what is your job here aboard the Carnival Glory? I am a playlist singer slash dancer. Where are you from? I'm from Wisconsin originally, and I hail from Minnesota now. Minneapolis. Minnesota. Minnesota. Do people yeah. really talk like that in Minnesota? Oh, Minnesota, for sure. Yeah, don't yeah. You know, give me your best, like. Oh, uh, well. If you're I, gonna call me up and invite me out for dinner in Minnesota. Hey, I was wondering if you wanted to go over to the Dairy Queen just to grab some chicken strips or something. You. <laughs> You, you interested? You interested in coming by or me? It's like a cartoon. <laughs> this was Cameron's very first contract. Was this your first time ever on a cruise ship? Absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah. So you're yep. the perfect person to talk to about all yes, this stuff. Yes, it was all good. Um, yeah. What was it like the first time you, was the ship what you expected, not what you expected? What was that moment when you walked on the ship? Um, honestly, I remember the first moment I saw the ship yes, and that yes. was, I was awestruck because we were coming like through this little happened. narrow like a corridor at the port where like two buildings are slapped together and all you could see is just like carnival glory like just like right on the bow just a yeah. sliver of it and just like towering over you so, oh it's surreal too just like yeah just how big these things are yeah and like yeah. now everything feels so freakishly normal but like walking into all the those like new places for the first time like where where the elevators that everybody uses now and like everybody yeah you know um how did you find out about this job working like singing on a cruise ship um uh, i've been thinking about it for like two years I had some friends that kind of went off and did it um I've kind of always known about it as a gig just as like a job I think my parents would, would always be like oh my god wouldn't that be so cool if you I know parents always want the discounts <laughs> they always want the hookups no that's my mom too like so where are you gonna go next I'm like I don't know lady I'm not planning your vacations <laughs> what was your the audition process for you the audition process was through a company called GL Berg Entertainment uh, shout out uh, Katie Partridge, whoop whoop. Hey. Um, the audition process essentially was fast and furious. My name was on the casting agency list. They sent me an email on a Wednesday night, said audition a Spanish song, a rock song. I sang Living on a Prayer. Um, which she sings which I in sing now. real life right now. Mm -hmm. In our epic rock show. Um, so yeah, I sang, I sent in those two videos and then I did the chorus line opening number choreography. Of course you did. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> uh, sent that in within 24 hours. I heard back and then four days later was on a plane to Miami. Four, really? It was that quick? It was that fast. Yeah. Was that a hard decision to make? Absolutely because, not. Because these contracts are <laughs> seven months long. So like you're, yeah. they're telling you like, well, here's this job, but you have to leave everything you know and love for seven months. Right. But no, it wasn't hard. No, like, it wasn't. Do it. I had wanted to do it for like a year and a half and I had been tired of not being able to support myself and pay off my student debt. So this was like yeah. the perfect opportunity. And when it arose, I had to unfortunately disappoint a lot of people back home. I had to like cancel seven engagements. But nothing was going to pay me the amount of money that I'm getting paid right now. And none of it was going to travel me around the Caribbean. So I decided to pack it up and go. Yeah. So it was great. Speaking of traveling, uh, yes. you actually went and did something really fun today. today oh we were my in, God. <laughs> we were in Belize today. You went out into Belize. For the first time. I went to La Manai. Um, Mayan ruins. Mayan ruins. <laughs> La Manai. Lamanai. Mayan ruins. Mayan ruins. Yes. And what did that consist of? That consisted of taking a hour long bus ride with a tour guide and we got to this kind of like port area where we got on a speedboat and the speedboat took us out through this little channel and into a river and we went up the river for like 20 minutes and then we pretty much just like got off on a dock at the National Preserve 
where there are three um, Mayan temples. Temple ruins. Yeah, and we walked built to a long time ago with their hands. I always love stuff like that. 1500 BC. It makes me feel really like small, but in a good way. Like, oh my gosh, people came before me. People will come after oh me. Oh my gosh, like, it almost felt like an alien species because it was so long ago. Yeah. Like, it's so hard to comprehend, yeah. but like in that moment, you just like breathe in that scale. There's just like so much time underneath all of those. Yeah. All the soil no, and the I plants love, around I love stuff you. Like that. was, That's how I felt when I awesome. saw Mount Rushmore. I like cried. Yeah. Like actual tears. Because I was yes. like, oh my gosh. I know. I'm just a tiny person. <laughs> <laughs> have the mess hall. We call it the mess. It's our it's cafeteria. It's and um, they have different kinds of foods. Like people on the ship, we have people from Indonesia, South Africa, England, mm -hmm. the US, everywhere. And so they try to cater to like <clears throat> different cultures and different whatevers. Um, what is something when you go to the mess that you are like, yes, this is here today? The salmon. The salmon? Yeah. What is something that you saw in the mess that you were like, oh, that's really weird, but you tried it and you're like, oh, actually this is not bad. And it's like a, you had a cultural experience because you tried someone else's like home dish. I don't know like what, where this dish is from, but it's the sausage rolls, sausage like pastries. Oh. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> is that, sausage really? Sausage roll is like oh. an English delicacy. Is that what it says on it? It's just called this. Oh. Like it's oh. like a pasty. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sausage, oh, sausage rolls, rolls from England. From England, wow. It was a pleasant oh, surprise. Have you ever tried the smelt fish? No. <laughs> what is that? When the, the whole fish that are like oh, just chilling there with their smelt. eyeballs. It scares me. Is yeah. it called smelt fish? It just yeah. feels like so much. <laughs> have, is it really, is it a lot of work? No, it's just, you just eat it, I think. All of it? I think Bones so. I've everything? never tried. Yeah. And I've never <laughs> yeah. seen anybody never tried do either. it. So I don't know. <laughs> Thanksgiving just happened. Um, what is a Thanksgiving tradition at home that you're bummed to miss out on? My mother's cranberry sauce. <gasps> does she make it from scratch? She does. With like orange peels and stuff? Yes, and that like frozen cranberries. Thing. That, I don't know if my family gets them from my grandparents' cranberry bog anymore. They, my grandparents used to sponsor a cranberry oh, bog. Really? They like with the benefactors of like a certain acreage of cranberries. Like the ones you see in the commercial with the guys in the overalls. And yeah, like, literally that. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is your first contract. Mm -hmm. um, do you love your job and do you want to do another contract? And if so, what do you want to do? That's a lot, it's very loaded, but. No, no, I can answer the first part okay. very strongly because I'm a nerd. And about four days ago, I woke up and stood in my room and I took a deep breath as I stood up and I, <laughs> it was overwhelmed with this feeling of joy. I was just like, I'm on a boat and I love it a lot. Um, <laughs> I do that. <laughs> like, this is when my I, job. <laughs> when I got back from Topocalypse, I was like unpacking and I just really felt overwhelmed. I was so happy to be there. And I like opened one of my drawers that has been broken. And I was like so happy to open my broken drawer. I was like, this is my broken drawer. Yeah, so I get it. <laughs> okay, so when picking your next ship, where somewhere if you, because carnival goes to the eastern and western caribbean and like the different mm -hmm. parts um where's somewhere you would love to travel to australia oh yes i know me too mm -hmm. those ships go so quickly though and everybody wants them um what is your favorite port that we go to san juan see my san people. Juan, puerto rico <laughs> always we win yes. every time Hello. Yes, it, you're just like smacked with culture and beauty. It is like if you could ever go to San Juan, just do it. Just, San, San Juan. San Juan. Just <laughs> do it. Yeah, it's really. Good. Um, have you had mofongo? Yes. I'm gonna bring up mofongo in every episode. Mofongo. <laughs> mofongo. <laughs> Isn't it delicious? It's Don't you just feel like there's good. culture just sitting in your mouth? <laughs> it's like great Cult cheese. Culture. <laughs> culture. <laughs> yes, it's so good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cameron. Thanks for having for me. For being on my show. Yay, bye you guys! <laughs>